In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the fundamentals of Jetbow Compose navigation. By the way, this is going to be a playlist. We're going to start from the fundamentals, which I will talk about in this video. Then we will dive deep into the Compose navigation in other videos. So before I show you how to implement navigation in Jetbow Compose, let's just take a little bit of theory about how the navigation works in Android in general. So in Android, there are two main components that allows you to set up your navigation. The first one is the navigation controller. So that is just an object from a class that allows you to navigate between your screens and modify on the back stack. And we're going to talk about the back stack in a little bit. The other component we want is the navigation host. And that is the container of all of your screens. So if you have three screens, for example, you just want to put them inside that navigation host. Now let's talk about the back stack, which is a very important principle to understand in navigation. A stack is just a data structure that, that is called last in first out. That is mean that the last object post to this stack will be the first object that could be removed. Let's just illustrate that. So I'm gonna draw here the stack. So this is the stack. And in navigation this stack will just have your screens. So let's just put, let's create a screen here. Let's call this screen A. And Let's change its color. So now your stack has a single screen. So the last item inside this stack will be visible to the user. So in our case, we only have one screen, which is also the last item in this, in this back stack. So it will be visible. Now, if we have a screen B on top of screen A inside this stack, that means screen B is the one that is visible. And another important principle is popping the stack. So when we pop a stack, that means we delete the latest added screen to this stack. So what is the latest added screen? Uh, it is screen B because it's the one on the top of this stack. So if we pop the stack, that means we delete screen B. And now screen A is visible. And this stack can host as many as of screens you need. You can just add screen C here, for example. Now screen C is on the top of this stack. That means it's the one that is visible. Now let's go to the implementation part and show you how to set up a simple navigation in Jetbow Compose. Okay, so I'm inside an empty Compose project, create your own one, and we just want to add one dependency for Jitbow Compose navigation. So let's go ahead and search about Compose navigation. And now, if you are using uh, Gradle with Kotlin, so switch here and copy this. Then we go back to Android Studio and paste it in here. Now we just can click on sync now. Okay, now we added the Compose Navigation library. Now we're gonna go ahead and use that. But before we implement the navigation itself, let's just implement the screens we have. So we're gonna have three screens, screen A, screen B, and screen C. And from screen A, we can go to screen B. And from screen B, we can either go to screen C or go back to screen A. And from screen C, we can either go back to screen B or screen A. So let's create these three screens and they can just be composable uh, functions. So here we can create screen A. And from screen A, we can go to screen B. So navigate to B. We expose the function for that. And then here we just uh, implement our screen. I'm just gonna use a scaffold and we're gonna add a tub bar just to show what screen we are in. So tub app bar, and I'm just gonna give it a title and say that this is screen A. Now we need to add this annotation and here we can just create a column. Let's give it a modifier and add the top padding. So padding top equals it to calculate top padding. If you don't know what a scaffold is, I've made a video about that. You can go ahead and watch it. It's inside my Jitbug Compose playlist. And we also wanna fill the max size for this one and let's also here apply vertical arrangement. We give that center. And we also want to center this horizontally. So horizontal alignment. And we pass center horizontally. Now here we want to have a single button inside the screen. Which says go to B. And we're going to assign one click to navigate to B. Because when we click on that button. We want to call this function to navigate to screen B, but we're going to do that later in a bit. Here, let's just copy everything here and create screen B. Change this to screen B. 
and here we're gonna have navigate to C and from screen B we can also navigate back so let's also expose another function here called navigate back and for the title we want to say screen B here we want to change this to go to C navigate to C and we're gonna create another button but let's just add a little bit of spacing height 10 dB let's copy this button here and this time we want to go back or back to A and we can say back or navigate back okay let's copy this one and finally we create screen C so screen C paste change the speed to C uh, from screen C we want to be able to go to back we want to be able to go back to uh, B so navigate back to B and here navigate back to a and here we want to change the title to screen C for this one we want to go back or we can say back to B this one back to A okay that's correct here we can say navigate back to B and navigate back to A and that's it for our three screens now let's go back to the main activity and set up the navigation between these two screens. And as I told you in the introduction of this video, that we need two main components in order to set up the navigation in Compose or in Android in general. The first one is the nav controller, so that allows us to navigate between different screens and control the back stack. And we also want the nav host, which is going to host these three screens. So let's obtain our nav controller can say nav controller remember nav controller this is how you get an object from this nav controller then we want to create a nav host so there's a composable function called nav host which receives the nav controller and delete this graph instead we can pass start destination so this start destination specifies the route of the starting point in your navigation so we want to start from screen b from screen a sorry so here we pass a unique string for screen A and we open curly bracket and here we want to host the three screens we have. How do we host the screen inside the nav host? Well, we need to call the composable function here and here you need to specify the route of your screen. So screen A, open curly brackets, then here you have a composable scope. You can just call any composable function. We can call screen A and here we have this function which is called navigate to be let's leave that empty for now and notice that we match the route here with the start destination that means we're gonna start from this composable here because the start destination matches with this route now we can copy or let's just not copy that let's just do it again route for the next screen we have is screen b we pass a unique string for that which is called route open color bracket and call screen b here we have navigate to C, but we also have navigate back. Let's leave that empty. And finally, let's make more space. We have screen C. So route screen C. Let's just put that into new line. And here we can say screen C. We can navigate back to B or we can navigate back to A. So just delete that like this and use named argument. And yeah, this is your navigation setup. We should start from screen A, but we are not going to be able to navigate between these screens because we have not implemented the navigation uh, logic yet. Okay, we started from screen A, but if we click here, nothing happens. Now let's see how to navigate between our screens. Um, so to do that, we need to use the nav controller because this is the object that allows you to navigate and to navigate between your screens and control the back stack. So to navigate, we can say nav controller dot navigate, and here you pass the route of the screen you want to navigate to. In our case, we're gonna go to B, so we're gonna make sure to pass the same route we have in here. Copy and paste that, and here we need to navigate to C. So nav controller dot navigate. We need to go to screen C. And 
navigate back. So now if we are in screen B, that means the back stack has a screen B on top of screen A. So to go back to screen B, we need to pop the back stack and remove screen B. So to do that, we can see nav controller dot pop back stack. And from screen C, so again, if we are inside screen C, that means screen C is on top of screen B and screen and screen A. If we want to go back to screen B, we can say nav controller dot pop back stack. If you want to go to screen A, we can call this twice. So let's see that now. If we say go to B, okay, now we are on screen B. If we say go to C, we are in screen C. Now if we say go to B, we're in screen B. Let's go back to C again. If we say go to A, and as you can see, now we're inside A. If we go to B and click on go to A, that also works. And by the way, ba the back gesture here works as well. It will pop the back stack. So that is just handled by this library. You don't need to handle it on your own. Okay, before I end this video, I want to show you an alternative way instead of just calling pop back stack twice, we can just navigate to screen A and clear the back stack. To do that, we can say enough controller dot navigate. We want to go to screen A. And now we want to clear the back stack. We want to make sure that screen A is the only one we have in the back stack. Now to clear the back stack, we just open color bracket and say bob up to and here you pass zero. This is how you clear the back stack. If you run the app again and if we go to B, go to C, now we want to go to A. As you can see, we are in A. If we click back, we should exit the app. That means the back stack is empty. And yeah, that's correct. We exited the app. Okay, that's it for this video. I introduced you to the fundamentals of Jitbug Compose navigation. In the next video, we will dive more deeply into this. And yeah, I'll see you there.